What is up everybody and welcome back to another beautiful day here in the mountains of North Idaho. Liz and I have a great video for you guys today. We're going to try to do a whole nother pasture completely start to finish down in our lower landing. We got a lot of work ahead of us so uh, we better get after it. Let's do it. So as you guys saw in one of our previous videos, we have this entire mountainside, just this kind of little pie shape area completely fenced off. We have about two acres completely fenced up there for these sheep over here. And these are the ewes. And what we're going to try to do today, guys, is get these rams and this goat in a whole nother pasture. I think maybe over here in this thicket of stuff. So we got to kind of figure out what we're doing. In a video from a few weeks back, you guys saw that we fenced out this entire pasture. And check it out, guys. These animals have been doing a really good job. Everything is knocked down. All the weeds are really short. Chickens are doing good inside the sloop coop. Look at this, guys. All the weeds are really, really, really knocked down. Look, this is even just all tansy. They have all the tansy way short and everything is looking good all the while getting fertilized the entire time getting ready for us to plant something right on top of all this i don't know if that's going to be this spring or next spring but it is looking really really good let's head over here past the wood pile see if we can come up with a decent size area to try to do a whole nother pasture somewhere down here <laughs> guys so mike and i have really been discussing where we want to put this next little pasture and we actually have several zones that are really really thick that we do want to section off um we were going to do this one this was we we're getting ready to go we're kind of exploring a little bit it's really really wet down there this is like kind of marshland it's wet and it's thick um, but we actually have another zone on the other side of this pasture that we already have fenced off so instead of doing that right now, we do want to do it eventually. We want to have lots of different sections, but we decided against doing this section just for this moment. We're actually going to move down the way over here. It's a really thick area. We want it cleaned out. It's actually already connected to the pasture that we have. So this should work out really good. Got all the T-posts pounded. Liz is starting to get them clipped. Then I think what we have left to do is put a few posts in the ground, string up some wire. Yeah, get these sheep in here. Right, you guys we have all of the insulators on these wooden posts so i think that it is time to run some wire this part should hopefully go pretty quick mike and i have gotten good at it so we're hoping to get those sheep in there pretty soon
Okay, I've got those all tied up. We made it back. These guys are getting impatient with us. They ran out of all of their favorite stuff. So they're ready for a new space. Guys, check this out. We have a legitimate pasture now. This ended up being about a quarter of an acre in total, this entire pasture. What we just added was probably another 0.8 acres would be my guess. Uh, let me flip this around and really show you the work that we did because we're pretty stoked on it. It looks good. So this other wooden post is where we started with this chunk of pasture. It runs down to our driveway. So like I said, we probably gained about 0.8 acres out of just adding this little chunk of pasture. We got five wires about six inches apart. Each wire is electrified throughout the entire fence. We're putting out about three joules of electricity. So anything that touches this is definitely going to feel it. It's a solar charger, so we don't have to worry about plugging it in or anything like that. We just check it daily to make sure that one, the fence is still working. There's a dial on it that's gonna let us know if the fence is down. And two, we wanna make sure it stays charged from the power of the sun. And it's been doing a good job. So we have probably about another 0.8 acres here, guys. And look how nice these wires look. They're all evenly spaced throughout the whole fence all the way down you can see we connected to any tree that we could to try to save ourselves a few posts and man it is looking good look how overgrown all this stuff is here compared to the pasture that they were in down here i think it uh is probably our fault i would call this overgrazed i think we let these sheep stay on this pasture this section of the pasture for just a little bit too long. And I'm hoping that that is not a huge deal. We do have plans to get some seed on this and I have been watering this for probably the past four evenings. Every evening I get the sprinkler going on it and just get some water. So any plants that are on here should be regrowing or you know starting to regrow with that water. Um, and we are gonna plant some grass on this hillside. We have a lot of straw back in the barn that we still need to clean out, muck all that out. And I think we'll throw that right on this hillside on top of any seed that we put down. That's gonna hold the moisture there. It's gonna keep the sun from drying it out completely. It's gonna keep the birds from eating any seed that we put down. Um, so yeah, that's probably here in the future. But all in all, this entire pasture running from our big gate all the way over here, guys, it looks so good. The sheep and the goat are doing an excellent job. We have so much forage for them over on this side, guys. It's so thick and they love it. They're doing a great job. This is a really steep hillside, guys. So anybody that is like questioning putting sheep on a really steep hillside, they are thriving, guys. They're doing so good. I find it really interesting how as humans, you know, when we're working on here, we look for the path of least resistance to go up and down the hill. I'm looking for a clear spot in the trees or, you know, a little trail that's naturally cut throughout the mountain somewhere. But the sheep, they don't look for that. They just barge their way through the brush. They see something that they want to eat. They go right towards it. And that does two things. One, that tills up the soil that they're walking on. And two, that breaks down all of that underbrush, all of those old sticks and branches and you know just growth that has fallen down to the ground the sheep are now tilling that up and putting it into the ground all the while their you know poop and their urine turns out to be fertilizer for this ground so i think here in the next maybe couple months guys 
definitely in the next couple years, this is going to be a beautiful hillside. I'm really excited to have just a nice grassy hillside, all the underbrush cleared out while still keeping some of these bigger trees. We have one, two really, really nice cedar trees here, guys. There's two really nice birch trees, a couple pine trees throughout it. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard the term parked out. It's kind of when you just go through and clear out the underbrush, but leave all of the bigger growth. Um, that's essentially what these sheep are going to be doing to this little hillside for us. They're gonna park out the whole hillside. And another huge benefit to that is they're mitigating fire danger for us. All this underbrush, guys, is a pretty big fire danger here in the summertime. You know, it's that type of stuff that allows these fires to get really, really big it's not these big trees going up. It's all the underbrush, that smaller stuff that burns fast, lets that fire get really hot, and then it moves into the, the bigger trees like this. So it's really just like a win, 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 triple win having these sheep out here. So Liz and I are really stoked on it. We're still learning, guys. We have a lot to learn. You know, we're running all the electric fence for the sheep. We've seen both positive and negative responses with the electric fence. So far, it's worked out really good for us. Obviously, time will tell. Um, but yeah, we have that whole pasture uh, on the mountainside, completely fenced in in the electric fence. It's working great. The sheep really mind it. Right here, they're doing the same thing. They mind the electric fence. They don't get within probably three feet of this thing, guys. Works out perfect. The goat actually took them a while to cross over because we did have a fence splitting this down the middle. It's like the goat almost knew that there used to be a fence there. So it took them a while to cross over into the new pasture, but now they're just absolutely loving it. We got all sorts of different plants in here, you know, thimbleberries and grasses, leaves, birch leaves, elderberry leaves. What else? The uh, Oregon grape leaves. What do they call those? I can't even think of the name of those. Just so many plants here, guys. So they're doing really, really good. And yeah, we're pretty stoked on it. This is awesome. This is a really good move towards self-sustainability for our homestead. As far as like meat production goes, as far as livestock goes, and as far as landscape management. You know, not only are these sheep eating all of this lovely grass in these leaves, they're also eating a lot of the weeds, guys. You know, some weeds, they grow really fast. Noxious weeds here in Idaho tansy the sheep do not mind eating that tansy so like i said earlier it's like a triple win really appreciate you guys watching this video if you haven't considered subscribing down below if you like content like this you should definitely do that and uh till the next video see you later thanks guys